From his home in Hawaii, he came to Japan as a youth and rose to the top ranks of sumo wrestling. He was like a typhoon in the ring and couldn't help but notice the real ones happening regularly in his adopted home. Waza Wai, or catastrophic misfortune, the wrath of the gods, is something the Japanese have learned to tolerate. Typhoons, earthquakes, tsunami, and now nuclear disasters are part of life in old Nippon. Konishiki wanted to do something to help. He calls his operation Konishiki's Kids. Every year there's some kind of disaster, guaranteed. A lot of, a lot of natural disasters here in Japan for people that live here are kind of live with knowing that there's some kind of disaster every year. And they know Konishiki. He's been part of Japan's sports and media landscape for generations, which now helps him lift hearts, feed disaster victims, and bring smiles in tough times. Parents that watch me during my career, kids who, who are now like in college, who watch me getting up in the morning, it's like the Sesame Street kind of show that it's been on here in Japan. So I guess that's why you can see the age range. Konishiki's team is likely to strike after a natural disaster. Among dozens of communities assisted, an area of particular attention is the northern Tohoku region afflicted by the Fukushima earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear crisis. The goal is try to get out as, as soon as I can. With many Tohoku residents still living in temporary housing, hot meals of rich sumo chankonabe stew and festively wrapped gifts have kindled hope during the holidays year after year. The Christmas project that we did for five years, we delivered over 3,000 um, gifts. We handed personally per kid, one by one, and um, well, I personally had it with my team. We went out to Tohoku for five years in a row. We just kept on going, a four-ton truck. While Konishiki is still frequently viewed on television and the internet, for those who've met him, the greatest impression is on their hearts. And while it's one man's project, Konishiki doesn't do it alone. He's inspired volunteers and businesses to join him in the preparations, wrapping, packing, cooking, and personal delivery. We're letting the people of the North know that they haven't been forgotten. Because they're not in the news, I mean, it looks like that they've actually got back on their feet and they're fine, but actually they're still not on their feet. And while Konishiki's music, food, and presents make it all look joyful, each gifting trip is a lengthy logistical challenge. Uh, it took about three or four weeks, maybe more. I mean, collecting was maybe over two months and wrapping, it took over one month to, to do the work. And everybody was really very much involved. Konishiki has inspired those caught in disasters and maybe when they have recovered, they too will be able to help others in need. For now, it seems, their smiles will suffice. If that would carry over a day or two days or even that moment to kind of take their minds off of the hardship they're going through. Steve Ross, CGTN, Tokyo.